In this morning's Health Watch, low acid diets. Heartburn is typically a problem we all, most people think about that's caused by acid, which comes up from the stomach. Uh, but the food going down may also be causing it. Nutritionist Kerry Glassman, author of The O2 Diet, is here with a lowdown on low acid diets. Kerry, good to have you with us here this morning. Nice to be here. So this diet really kind of brings us back to high school chemistry, which I'm just <laughs> going to throw this disclaimer out there right now. One semester, I got a 47. Miss Kaminer, don't worry. <laughs> I, I, I don't hold that against the you. The good news <laughs> is he's not our expert today. <laughs> Kerry so, is. This, this, so the whole pH thing that we're now kind of bringing back in, we're, we're really... Exactly, it's because it. we traditionally think of, when we think of heartburn, we think of the acid is coming from the stomach. But the foods coming down also can affect the acid in our body. So let's go back to science class. The pH scale, right? We know that there's base and alkaline. Foods are either acid or base, correct? So there's some foods that are going to be acid, some are base. Our blood pH level regulates itself very well, I will say, 7.35 to 7.45. But Remember, our bodies are working really hard to regulate that, and the foods we eat can affect it. So, this low acid diet is an option. What exactly is a low, a low acid diet? Is it as simple as it sounds? Well, basically, a low acid diet is really going to be a healthy diet. Okay. It's going to be loaded with vegetables, healthy fats, some fruit, and some healthy things like legumes and lentils. And see, we have avocado here, and we have olive oil. And something like a broccoli, for example, is going to be 6.2 on that pH scale. But one thing I want to point out is we don't need to worry about those numbers. We just, when we're eating things like vegetables, and we're taking things out like processed foods and sugar, we're naturally going to be eating a low acid diet. Advocates suggest about 75% of, uh, to 80, 75 to 80 percent of your foods yeah. should be base and then about 20 to 25 percent acid. Okay. Well, how about some foods that are surprisingly high in acidic levels? Well, foods, just think about maybe watching a football game, the foods you yeah. might see sitting there. <laughs> Alcohol, high fat meats, fried foods, and then also things like caffeine and citrus are going to be the high acid foods. So those are high acid. It's tough to eliminate exactly. all of those. It's tough to eliminate all of them. And you don't have to eliminate completely, obviously. But again, this is mostly eating a healthy diet, focusing on the things like vegetables and fruits and lentils and legumes and healthier fats. And things that are surprisingly high in acid might be something like sugar and candy people won't necessarily think of as being high in acid. Yeah, you would, I mean, the orange yeah. juice you would think of, maybe the, maybe the coffee for yeah. some people, but definitely exactly. not those things. So I would imagine, too, as we look at this, because you say really a low acid diet is really a healthy diet, mm -hmm. there are probably some other benefits to eating this way as well. Okay. Okay, so here's what we know. The science is not definitive and much research is needed, but we know three things. We know that by following a low acid diet, you're taking out processed foods, high fatty meats, you're taking out sugar, so you may lose weight. We also know, as I mentioned before, that our bodies work really hard to regulate the pH level of our blood. But in order to do that, we may, if you're eating a lot of acidic foods, you may draw upon your bones and grab calcium from the bones to maintain that regulation. And research has linked a low acid diet to better bone health. And as I mentioned at the beginning, research also links a low acid diet to relieving symptoms of heartburn. Got it. So would you recommend people just basically, if, basically you're not, if you're not a big fan of a low acid diet, maybe just kind of sample with a couple of things and see if you can incorporate it? Well, you don't need to worry about the numbers is really what I would say. Yeah. It's a healthy diet for everyone. Vegetables and fruit and like I said, legumes and lentils and healthy fats and getting rid of all the junk, the processed foods, the high fatty fried foods and the sugar. We all right. should be eating this way. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Right. All right, Karen Glassman, right. thank you very much. I really thought this was going to be more of a chemistry lesson. I'm happy. <laughs> Are you happy that it wasn't? Oh, I didn't want to scare you. Big, I want to start tomorrow. Call me back to high school, not, not very good as I mentioned. Thanks, Thanks so much.